The Big Frack is an analog emulation EQ plugin by Empirical Labs. Hi, I'm Malen and welcome to the White Noise Studio. The Big Frack EQ is somewhat based on the Lil Frack hardware EQ by Empirical Labs. So analog sound is what counts. Let's dive right in. My first impression of the plugin was, this is crowded. But then I noticed that this plugin is all about one control doing one thing. No hidden features, every knob, dial and slider has pretty much one function. So if the trade-off for having a busy interface is having clear functionality, I'm totally fine with that. It even feels somewhat old school. It will be a perfect fit for Pro Tools users. No drag and drop on the frequency graph and there's no frequency analyzer. This makes you realize how spoiled you get by plugins like the FabFilter Pro Q3. I would have been totally fine by not having the frequency graph for this plugin. So what does an EQ like this has to offer in the already overcrowded EQ plugin market? It has to be how it sounds. This plugin does something which, for instance, the Brainworks AMAC 200 also does. It will never sound bad. It doesn't matter what setting you use, it always stays pleasing and musical. Now let's go over the workings of the Big Frack. The plugin has six of the same fully parametric equalizers. These are bell type only. You have to turn each band on by using the in and out switch. There are separate controls for gain, the bandwidth or Q. By pressing the F you can fine tune the frequencies around the frequencies you have set and by holding control command while dragging, you can get to dialing in 1 Hz steps. And you can change the slope for the Q to work more precise or more smooth. The gain range can be set for 15 decibels or 30 decibels. And you can solo the frequency band, which isn't a standard on every EQ plugin. And if you want, you can copy the EQ settings of a frequency band to another band. Also not so standard. The basic values of the frequency bands can be read down here. Nice and big, so that is done right. Now everything on this plugin has to be turned on. To use the high and low pass and the high and low shelf, you have to press the red characters which will turn into white, which activates the frequency band. The high and low pass are resonating band types. By pressing the Q, you can give the cutoff point a nice boost. This is very useful for, for instance, adding thump to a kick, but also to clean up everything below the crossover point. And the plugin has the finisher option. This is a saturation algorithm. So you can, by using this dial, drive the EQ into saturation, which opens up a whole world of smoothness, dynamic control and sound enrichment. The oversample enables more precise sound and less aliasing. Now explaining what a plugin does is always nice, but in the end it's the sound which counts. I will tweak the track you hear in the background so you can hear how the plugin sounds.
Okay, this is with all big frags turned off. And this is with all EQs turned on. User interface wise, this is not the best plugin, let's be honest. It's created with a hardware way of controlling. To use it in a digital audio workstation, it can use some refinement to make the workflow faster. Maybe this workflow is ideal for you. I like some shortcuts, like for instance, control a command to change the cue and click on the frequency display to add a frequency band. And it lacks some functions which are pretty much standard these days, like separate mid-side or left-right EQing. That said, the sound is excellent. And this is the major selling point for this plugin. The plugin really sounds musical, analog and forgiving. You can really sculpt the sound and bring a mix to the next level as you could hear. I hope in the future they will steer the plugin to a more DAW friendly interface. The sound is absolutely there. Download the trial and check if this plugin fits your workflow. If you are looking for piles and piles of analog flavor, you must check out the video displayed on screen right now. Don't forget to subscribe and please leave a comment. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!